Hi, uh, thank you for joining me today. I am doing a video on a life update and what I'm doing today. Uh, sort of like a vlog, right? Um, I have a couple things planned today, but I'm waiting for the air conditioner HVAC guy. And um, so I dyed my hair. I said I wasn't going to dye my hair anymore, but I did. And uh, I used the ammonia free. Um, this is uh, medium cool brown. My hair pulls red. Uh, but this is the uh, washout in 28 shampoos. Um, I like to pair it up to match my little uh, U shape hair thing going on. Um, you want to hear a funny story? It's really funny because. Um, you know, Caucasian women, uh, have not usually, like if you were in the entertainment business or if you were a, uh, stage person or a movie star or something like that, but everyday women, Caucasian women usually didn't wear like wigs or hair pieces or extensions. Um, it wasn't available to us maybe like until... I say a couple years ago, uh, it was mainly geared for ethnic women um, for whatever reason, right? Or the women that had, um, you know, they went through some kind of cancer treatment or something like that. Traditionally, um, Caucasian women, um, we didn't wear extensions for whatever reason, right? It wasn't available to us. I mean, when I was blonde, uh, way back in the day, I couldn't get any extensions or anything like that. I think it was in the last um, maybe like 15 years, 15 years, because I was a hairdresser back in from 1978 to 1983. I let my license go in like 1990. Um, but I worked in a salon. I worked in a high-end salon and I worked in a regular salon and then I did hair out of my house, right? So I was pretty up on hair, the hair thing, right? The beauty stuff, um, did skincare and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, it goes in waves. So, uh, today I have my eyelashes on. I used to have go to the salon and spend a lot of money on, you know, um, keeping me up, you know, like I had my nails done. I went and had pedicures and, went and had facials, and I went and had um, eyelashes extensions, all that kind of stuff. I would have my eyebrows done and stuff like that. Well, I'm out unemployed, and I don't have a lot of money, so i got to do everything myself now. So I went to the dollar store, and I got a Wet n' Wild. Um, I don't have them, but they're a Wet n' Wild dollar store. Oh, here it is. They work just fine. A wet and wild eyelashes. Now I've got a sty from wearing them, so it's kind of hurting me today. Well, I wore eyelashes when I got married. Um, and when I was a dancer back in dancing school day. Um, but um, I don't really like to wear eyelashes. Now when I had eyelash extensions, when I had them put on the salon, they were, that was really expensive, you know. So... I'm broke. I'm living on a dime. And, um, yeah, but I got this hair piece, so I tend to look really pretty when um, I wear my hair. Now, funny story. Now, I live in over 55 community, right? Now, when I put this hair piece on, it's like a U-shape, and I, I made a video on it. When I put this hair piece on, I get all kinds of comments this one old lady, she stopped directly. I was in the, with my friend, we were going to lunch and I was waiting for her outside. She stopped dead, she had a walker. She stopped dead in her tracks with her walker and she looked at me and she said, is that your real hair? Now, old lady, I could have, and I was respectful. She was with her son and she had a wig on too, I could tell. Uh, she says, she stopped dead in her tracks. Is that your real hair? She yelled over. 
I didn't know that lady, right? She, I, I get all kinds of snarls and, you know, the men like it. The men like it, right? Um, but the women that are my age, they don't like it. I don't know why, but they don't. So women can be so catty, can't they? But yeah, um, I like it. And I had a family member that said, why are you wearing that hair? Cause, Cause I like it and it makes me feel good. So anyway, what I got today, I know I'm so sassy. I've been so sassy lately cause I feel good. I've been sassy. But, um, cause I'm on a high when I fast. Now today I'm not fasting. I got really hungry for a bit. So what I did was I brought out the old salad and then I, I had some pulled pork. I measured out some pulled pork, one ounce, cause I'm trying to re regulate my satiety uh, cues. So what do I got today? I got some green tea. I just wanted to bring out my supplements. Now, don't ask me why I take these supplements, because you got to ask your doctor, right? Now, I do like for electrolytes, because it's getting hot, and I play sports during the day, and I'll be on that hot golf course or pickleball or uh, tennis court or walking. There you go. Now, I got this uh, from uh, one of the weight loss surgery peeps, Time to Shrink. Yeah, she's really cute gal. Uh, but Ultima, Ultima, it's a really good product because it's sweet with stevia. And you can research it yourself. may not be right for you, but I like it. Grape. Because I'm really pretty particular about the um, sweeteners and all that kind of stuff. Lightly. So, yeah. Um, and I messed up this. this um, I'm going to have to edit this. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. So, yeah, so I have the rest of my kombucha that I made, or tea. So I do take licorice, and I do on occasion take some echinacea and golden seal because I'm a menopausal woman. And I do sub take some uh, glutathione because I'm MTHFR. You can look that up. Too hard to explain. And I do take some astragalus. Yay, astragalus. I'm one of those people. I'm sorry. I do have to take a stool softener, and I got rid of the bottle. I do take once in a while some of this Metamucil. Yeah, I got that problem, girl. And uh, what else? Um, I do like I'm drinking the Isa Pure maybe once a day if I'm fasting at the end of the eating because I get hungry. Zero carb. And this is banana, and this is strawberry. Eh, it tastes okay. I do like if I take... Uh, Peanut butter. I like peanut butter, but I like this. This PB Fit Organic. And I do take a probiotic. I do put it in my yogurt or take it. I do take some vitamin E. Take some vitamin D3. And I take it with the this one. Take it with that because it has vitamin K and then it has calcium, 600 milligrams. So I do take a omega-3, and don't ask me why I take it. You can take your own. This is just me. I do you, baby, and you can do you. Omega C CQ10. You can research all this while I take it, and I take vitamin B1. Now this will get this will hurt my stomach if I don't have anything to eat. So I have to eat before I take the supplements, especially the B-complex, because it will make me throw up. And I do take this cod liver oil, either transdermally on my body or in my stomach. Usually it's transdermally. And I do take a DM supplement for estrogen dominance. Yeah, because I got those curves in all kinds of places, which I try to get rid of. Damn it. All these years, can't get rid of my womanly curves. Berberine Plus and uh, Cursicuin, whatever you call it. And I do take some Miralax on occasion. Yeah, because I got irregularity going on 99% of the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So, um, I am reading. I read a lot about Zen, and I read about two books a night. This is Jimmy Carter, Our Endangered Values. I think he just broke his hip. Well, I do have a bad hip, and that's why I'm working on uh, my fitness, and um, I'm doing some, like, weight challenge, weight, uh, what is that? Working on my um, weight lifting, because that's the least of fitness that I like to do. So I'm working on hamstrings and um, hamstrings and uh, balance and stretching and um, uh, hip flexors, right? Yeah. Think about pushing your hips and glutes back and keeping a this girl. Soft she's knee. a so she's a two-time woman, um, woman uh, bodybuilder. Three to four sets of twelve to fifteen. Working on the booty and the hamstrings. Really focus on that full extension. The next exercise is a back hyper on the Smith machine. And the reason I love this exercise is that it's a little bit unconventional and you are really going to feel that in the peak of your hamstring. And of course yeah. it's body weight. If this is too easy, feel free to add weight so you can hold weight right at your collarbone. That's one thing about um that's one thing about now YouTube. This, you don't even have to go to the damn gym. gym. You can make your own. You can make your own stuff, right? Or buy your own stuff, or even just use stuff outside. When you uh, walk, you can use it, right? So I got my ball. I got my stuff, and you know. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm still waiting for the HVAC guy. God, it's almost quarter of eleven. It's been raining for the last couple days here. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.